Leeds, is that an actual place or is this fictional? Yeah, Leeds is a real place. Hell yeah. Gilbert, I'm still gonna have to execute you, okay? <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 with me, Koi Fish. Wait, I hear something. I'm not alone here. Is this the point I say something? Hell yeah, dude. This is history with Hilbert, the coolest history boy on the block. Everyone, big applause. <laughs> Wow, thank you. This video is sponsored by Xbox Game Pass for PC. For the low price of just $1 for your first month, Xbox Game Pass for PC gives you access to a library of over 100 high quality PC games, such as Crusader Kings 3, Wasteland 3, and Halo Master Chief Collection, and much, much more. I think Xbox Game Pass for PC is an absolutely great way to get access to a bunch of games if you're on a tight budget or if you just want to try out a bunch of cool games. Today, Xbox Game Pass for PC has sponsored me to play Crusader Kings 3, the absolute best medieval conquest, intrigue and incest simulator out on the market. Check out Xbox Game Pass for PC in the links down below. Support the channel and get some cool games. We are teaming up and with my knowledge of Vikings and Hilbert's actual knowledge of Vikings. Wikipedia. <coughs> I mean Wikipedia is uh, one of the best scholars of this world. With the guidance of Hilbert we will conquer all of the British Isles as one of the children of Lothbrok. That's right, we are doing the Blood Eagle achievement. Very cool, let's get into it. Very cool. Hell yeah, you sound like the Swedish chef. We are going with the Wrath of the Northmen start. Because not only is it the coolest start, with the whole anime crew here, Bjorn Ironside. Tell me something about Bjorn Ironside, Hilbert. So apparently he's the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. He has a pretty interesting life, but we don't really know much about him, apart from that his name sounds fun. Which side of him is Iron, though? The left side. I'd say the outside. What about <laughs> Sigurd Snake in the eye? Why the hell is he called that? Did he actually get a snake in his eye, like a prank? We're not actually sure. Maybe it's some kind of eye deformity. He's called Sigurd Orm i Augur in Old Norse. I feel like maybe they just named him that for the crack. They were thinking we have Bjorn Ironside, we have a boneless guy, a guy who likes to wear white shirts, and so now we have this dude. <laughs> That's weird fucking eyes. Talking about Ivor the Boneless, we are not playing him. We are instead playing Horfton White Shirt, the coolest boy in the Viking era. Did he wear white shirts? I think he maybe wore some white shirts, but he's also called with a wide embrace. So it's like he, he likes to hug everyone at once. You know, Vikings, we all think they're so violent, they kill everyone, but this guy, he just wanted cuddle time. Group hug before we kill the monks. That makes him the perfect candidate for taking over the empire of Britain in this Blood Eagle achievement run with me, Koi Fish, and you, History with Hilbert. Let's do it. Iron Man enable. No sheets in doodling. Here we are in the wonderful world of Jorvi. Leeds, is that an actual place or is this fictional? Yeah, Leeds is a real place. Hell yeah. Hey, so do I get a pay rise for knowing geography as well? Because it's kind of outside my, uh, my permit, you have to you bring know? that up with the client, okay? We start off at war. The sons of Lothbrok invasion of Northumberland. We are absolutely outnumbering them. Because our brother, Jarlbjörn Ironside, he's gonna help us out. How many brothers do we have, actually? You know, Ragnar, he really didn't keep it in his uh, woolly pants. There's a lot oh. of brothers kicking around. And of course, his grandpa is King C. Good ring of Upland. This guy, uh, why was he called Ring, huh? Rings are quite important in the Norse culture. Like, you'd swear oaths on rings, and a lot of people would wear arm rings. So maybe he just had a lot to the point where, like, oh yeah, it's Ring guy. Let's raise the arms. But first, let's take a look at our focus. What lifestyle focus? would Horst and White Shirt have picked? It's difficult to say because we don't know a lot about him just apart from what he did. So maybe Marshall would be a good one because he was a leader of an army. But at the same time, we know that he also, after he conquered Northumberland, then gave out the land to his warriors to start plowing. I think we're gonna do this. We'll start with Marshall as we need to win the war. I mean, that. we have a lot of Anglo-Saxon kingdoms left, so it would be a good idea to start with something war-driven so we can smash him and then get into maybe some of the finer mm. pursuits. 
let's start with strategy focus. Would a Viking be chivalrous? Not in the way that we think of chivalry. They were quite sneaky, you know, they would use any advantage they could and they'd often just run away from battles if it wasn't in their favor. So I'm gonna go with no on that one. Why use the big blade when the small blade can do just as much damage? So how did this war actually go? Where did they start, huh? Oh. So really it depends at the time we're in, because it's 867 now, which means that this is the year that the battle in York happens. So they land in East Anglia, they steal some horses and they go up to York and there they defeat the Northumbrian armies at once before they go into Mercia and then East Anglia, they conquer these kingdoms and then they push into Wessex. But of course, Wessex had Alfred and that's something the Danes didn't have, so... I'm gonna have to stop you right there. Where the fuck is York? <laughs> there it is. Jurfik is York. Now we already took it. Well, we're one step ahead then. All right, let's fuck him up. Huh? We just used our son to get an alliance with the Isle of Man. Why is it called Isle of Man when we married a woman? It might be a good idea to try and get the Isle of Man support and because they're allied with the rest of the Norse Gales, I think, to go over to Cumberland, so the western side of Northumbria, ah. which is where historically you got Norwegian Vikings settling oh, as well. Oh, very clever. We're doing it historically. Koifish is so I good. He doesn't even have to listen to his advisor. The, the most accurate thing is that you disregard everything I say. If we lose, it's your fault. If you win, it's the king who did it on his own. 100%. We're taking over the Welsh too. Very cool. Mercia comes from Mercia in Old English, which means the borderland. It's like Denmark is the border of the Danes, the Danemark. So ah. Mercia is the border of the Saxons and the Welsh, basically. Border boys. Border boys? It looks like the Welsh men are absolutely kicking the asses of my, my friends. Oh, they're your friends? Oh, wait. No, Which one? Is that your not. nephew? Yeah, my niece. My, no, not my niece. My nephew. <laughs> your <bro>. niece. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's fucking Conchita divorced in the Viking Age, but... <laughs> <laughs> what is the war actually for? Okay. Northumberland. So why, yeah. are, why are we sieging Mercia, huh? Um, well, Advisor! Why did you not tell me we were sieging the wrong place? I'm sorry, my liege. Official declaration of Holmgang, okay? Get your sword, we're doing it. Hey, I'm ready. I'll, I'll do the Rona cough on you. It's fine, we'll just use spears that are at least two meters so we can <laughs> stay distance. We should probably break the siege, huh? Big old battle so. here. The Battle of Whitby. Whitby is an important place because there's a big monastic foundation there. So if we can take Whitby, we'll break the morale of the Northumbrians. Let's do it! Christians. Make the old gods proud. For Odin! Yeet! Would the Vikings go yeet? Yes. Hell yeah. Historical accuracy! Philip named Alfred. And then they killed him too! <laughs> I was about to say adding insult to injury, but more like adding injury to injury. <laughs> Jorvik, Shorvik, we're gonna go kick your asses, boys. Oh, there's an enemy army just rampaging through our land. Very cool. We are absolutely crushing them. This is like my brain, okay? I, I, I scroll over. Oh, 10 notifications. Issues! I can ransom this little boy. He's a bold grasper. What is he grasping for, huh? Yeah, he looks like he's about four. We're about to, to send him back to where he belongs. Please pay for his uh, GoFundMe campaign to buy back my sons from the Vikings. <laughs> Would the Vikings ransom people, or are they more like they put them to slavery? No, well, they would do both, it depends. If it's a, a, a noble person, they absolutely would try and ransom them. In fact, it's not just people. When they took holy books, like the manuscripts, <laughs> they would ransom those. Like, I, I kid you not, there are books that have been written in. This was ransomed by Alfred for the price of however many pounds of oh, silver God. from the Danes. That is like, so instead of, like, cutting off a finger and sending it, it's like, I took the front page and I send it to you in pieces. Start paying! Yeah, half of nuns would just faint when it comes in. They'd be like, oh god, how? God, that is terrifying, man. I book hostage. It was like hugely important. Like if you look at the Lindisfarne Gospels with all the gold and the jewels on the front and the amount of hours that it took, it was a valuable thing. I mean, that's how I treat my videos too. If I, if I could bejewel my upload <laughs> schedule, I would do it. My grandson! What? Little Gunnar! They took Gunnar Oskil! <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Wait, the fuck? Wait, what? what the, the Hungarians have him? <laughs> what? <laughs> What is this place advisor? I've never been to this land before. Mojur is the Hungarian name for the Hungarians, so they're still pagan at this point. They just yeeted into Europe. They're not even in Hungary yet. What the hell? And they took my grandson. Give it back, you fucking bastard. It is the it is the ninth century, I think, when the, the Hungarians swing into Europe. They're like kind of Mongol kind of boys on their horses. Well, you fucking Mongoloids better give me back my grandson, huh? Is that the term for Mongols? Yes. <laughs> One Mongol, Absolutely. many Mongoloids. Well, we took 
Erm, Edwulf. Lothian is an important place. It's, you know, Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. That's where Lothian is. Do we torture him? Mm, it depends what we want to achieve. Like, we could get some money out of him by ransoming Whoa. him. We're, we're gonna ransom him and his books. What the fuck? You look like a guy I'd like to punch. Did Viking have concubines? Most definitely. Like, in certainly in pagan times, multiple marriages weren't an issue. <laughs> Even some of the Danish kings that became Christian still had multiple wives, which mm. get led to problems. Is it more like a side hole or is it an actual actual legit thing. I'm pretty sure they had both. Koifish has access to historian asks, did Vikings have side hoes? It looks like the invasion's going very well. I'll tell you how well it's going, advisor. It looks like we already won. I think so. To the vile Jan Halfdan. Curse you and your seventh grandfather. May your years be short and miserable. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demand. We have him in the prison. Very cool. Petty King Ayla. Jorvik do be looking kinda thick. Wow, that's a chunky boy in the north of England right there. This is the daughter of him. Being a bastard is punishment enough. We're gonna ransom yeah, her. And bastards aren't likely to become king. <laughs> Coughs in William the Bastard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. That's why it's a little likely. Historically, to complete the uh, the Blood Eagle, they it's said that they Blood Eagle King Ayla. I don't know if that's an option here. It is! It is! Finally, Perfect. after all this time, I have the blathering Petty King Ayla. He killed Ragnar. I'm gonna turn you into a glorified version of a map grip. Bye! Why are the follower people absolutely raiding us? Of course, their symbol is a fucking sheep. What the hell, man? Did Vikings do Viking on Viking violence? Yeah, yeah, all the time. And raided each other. Yeah, I mean, that's how it kind of started, the Viking Age. They were already fighting each other in Scandinavia. Well, we're gonna fuck up these gold fuckers. Bye bye! Would a Viking settle down for this? You said the Vikings actually pushed down into Mercia. Yeah, so the Vikings push into Mercia in a few phases. I think what they, because what they did a lot of the time was they would move in and they would raid the area and then they would try and lure out the army. But they clearly had very good intelligence because they knew the Anglo Saxon army it was called up, so it was peasants and farmers in the fjord. So they would then sit in a fortified area for a while and they knew that after a while that army had to go home because the harvest had to be taken. So they'd wait until the enemy army, they wouldn't be able to attack them inside the fortress, had to go back for the harvest and then they would leave again and that's how they managed to conquer these kingdoms. So you're telling me that it was almost harvesting season? It was, but they said less talking, more raiding and you know the outcome. Hell yes. We should probably give out some stuff here. I'm thinking we give it to our sons. I think that would be a good idea. You know, keep it in the family, as the Habsburg said. This man owns no land. This is Siegfried Alftansson, Witzerk. Very cool. Is this someone we trust? Our son, flesh and blood. Yeah, that's why I'm asking, because the amount of times that fathers get killed by their sons oh, in the Viking Age. a bit of patricide, hope. <laughs> well, he is a legitimized bastard. He's honest. Very good, my son. Enjoy. Your level of fame is less than illustrious. And you need illustrious to do this? Well, in that case, let's build our prestige, hope. Huh? I think we should go raiding. Let's raid for captives. Come here, you bastard. Would they be front and center and smacking people about? Oh, yeah. That was very much an idea of being a king in the Viking Age. It was that you led from the front and that you weren't a coward, mm -hmm. you were brave. That and being generous, so make sure you pay your troops. Notable guest, Borgvard. Oh wow, what an attractive young man. He looks like he hasn't opened his eyes in centuries, hell yeah. I know, right? He just has a severe peanut allergy, okay. <laughs> a, f a faction? Against me? So this is pretty historically accurate, because actually when the Danes had conquered a large part of Northumbria and they went south, they rose up in revolt against them, so they then had to go back north and kill them. But I forgot to say that earlier when I said, oh yeah, let's invade Mercia, so... Advisor, you I are the know. worst one. Very good. That is a 100% enforce the bonds. Thank you, hand over the prisoners. We took his wife. Your wife, my wife. A rival, huh? Yabada by Wait, a rival called Riwal? Maybe he wasn't a rival, huh? He's just a Riwal. He's unmarried <laughs> and a Catholic threat's <laughs> off. Yeah, it's no. just some fisherman. I mean, He's just lost. <laughs> it's like, hello, like, into prison. What an unfortunate name he had, huh? Wait, we killed Rewa? Yeah, I, I killed him. <laughs> He's not even a rival. He's just a Rewa. He's I just some Don't name your son rival, Riva. Oh my god. This is why I hire advisors. You did it so quickly. I didn't even get to see him. I saw his name when he was already dead. <laughs> Maybe this is a bit of an excessive raiding force. Can we, we can raid across the sea as well, right? Yes, of course. Because what the Great Heathen Army did a lot of the time when they failed to conquer Wessex and things 
things were going badly was they just like nipped across the channel to the, the area of modern day Belgium and some of the southern Netherlands and then just sailed down the Rhine and burnt the shit out of the place. Mm. So potentially if you wanted to, Frankia has fuck all coastal defenses. They don't have a navy. They're pretty undefended. So you, it might be an idea to head to the Frankish coast and try and take them. Let's hit the boys up. Huh? My glory is widely known. Ah, we need to go to Illustrious, and then we can do the wars. It's wall, that's what I get when I go to the gym. Middleburg might be a good town to raid as well. It's on historically on uh, Volcheren, close to there, so a lot of the Frisians would come and help with the raiding. Oh, hell yeah, they're just like, this is my hometown, but I'm gonna burn it down anyways. A lot of the time, yeah, because they didn't like the Franks who were there, so <laughs> they were like, we'll join in. <laughs> Let's keep on raiding, huh? This is so accurate. The Antwerpen was raided. How did my wife get pregnant when I'm out here? Did I bring my wife? Wait, Ethel Swift is your concubine? Yeah, I took him. You know, she's Alfred's the Great's wife, right? Yes! I am <laughs> cocking him! Oh, wow. <laughs> A son! What would be the name of my son? You're calling him Svein right now, which means pig. Lirbjörn! He is the bear! Strong bear. In Swedish, it means to, to steer. He is the steering bear. Uh oh <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh. Oh, that's a big army in Rouen. We have taken Robin. Robin? Robin? A compassionate lackey. A compassionate lackey? A guy called Robin. Oh, where's, where's the Batman? <laughs> he wants to lowball me with this ransom, huh? Hell no. Uh, Hell no. Does he care for his daughter at all? Yeah, I wanted to pay 41. There will be no <laughs> daughters today. But here is a daughter for me! <laughs> Praise Freya! Ethel Swift has given birth to a perfect little daughter! Alfhildr is elf battle. Swanhildr is like swan battle. <laughs> Tordis! <laughs> you should call her Tordis just because it's it's Alfred's daughter. <laughs> Tordis! I'll let him see her on weekends. But just over I'll just hold her up to the border and nothing else. Let's do a hunt! That, oh, that's always fun. Alright, Hilbert, you're gonna sound the horn for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Very convincing. That wasn't my mouth either. Oh, oh god. <laughs> the white hair. I am riding ahead of the group as the plane suddenly grows still around me. The silence is almost palpable and I struggle to hear even the noise of the horse's hoofs. Just as I'm about to turn my back to find others, I glimpse it ahead of me. Blurry as in a dream. A hair white as snow. I think it's a sign from the gods. I think we should take it. I follow the white hair into the plains. An almost unnatural silence hangs heavy over us. And then the sudden sound of a voice startles me. My lord, there you are! I turn around to see the rest of my party having caught up to me. As I look back, the hair is gone. We're gonna find this hair, man. Yeah, let's do it. You wake up sweating in the middle of the night, and it was there in the door. <laughs> the white hair. We, we have just returned. I guess we'll have to go back later. Oh, so the hair got away. You need to work on your hunting skills, my lord. I'm sorry, that was oh, pathetic. Pitiful. It's I a hair. How difficult can it be? <laughs> Next time I'll throw a rock at it. Let's go, let's have a big old feast, huh? Welcome to the feast, everyone. Please enjoy the boiled pig ears. What would a Viking eat on a feast? Probably a lot of meat. My lord, the wine. We crept up with the next bottle. It's gone bad. It's all gone bad. But it's also, it's Yorkshire. How good is the wine gonna be? Oh, let's man. be real. It's Buckfast. Oh, boy. Buckfast makes you fuck fast. Let's buy it. <laughs> My oh, queen no. thinks she has a, to claim that my ideas of warfare are misguided. Woman, please sit down. <laughs> the men are talking at the table, please. <laughs> oh god. Bye bye, guests. Me and my wife <laughs> will have to take this. What the hell, wife? Why are you Look so how miserable? What that bitch said, huh? Imagine your woman this dissing your warfare. Tell you what, advice. Right? Should we just take over? The Irish. Well, I think taking over the Irish could be fairly difficult, but maybe if we made some kind of diplomatic agreement with the Isles and Orkney, perhaps Ulster would be a shout, because then we'd have... The Isle of Man is allied to us already, right? Because we're yes, yes, yes. through Marriage Alliance. And we have Juvik, so we have that coast. I... If we have a passageway that way, we can control the trade from Northern Ireland through the Irish Sea. I secured an alliance with my brother, Jan Ivar. I think that might be an option then, to see if you can take Ulster. I, I have just accidentally declared three wars. I was gonna say, it wouldn't one at a time have worked, but... No. Never mind. I am your wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Trying to give me strategy Don't think... advice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think three wars is a bit much, honey? Shut up, wife man. Wife won't be let me raid. Call into war, please. No, Robin died? Batman could not get there quick enough. Oh, Chieftain Ketil. Yeah, you know he was African, right? Oh, was he? Yeah, that's why the pot called the kettle black. Oh! <laughs> Kick their asses! 
Alba Gubrad, no, that's the Scottish. Yeah, it's Aiden Gubra for the Irish. Oh, Aiden Gubra. We don't want them to win. For Jorvik. But he was a Dane, so it would be like, Ja, for Heavy. We took him as prisoner. Ja, badaba. Thank you. Very effective. Hey, let's invade Desmond. That sounds like a guy. Just like that. I'm gonna name my kingdom Cumberland. We name Cumberland. They did have a different name for Cumbria. So, like, Cumbria comes from the same root as Kimbru, which is Welsh for Wales, so it means like kin. So it's a Celtic word. We call it Steve. The Earldom of Steve. They release Gunnar! In, uh, in Hungary. Yes! Yeah, that, look at that guy. Now that's what I'm on about. Hanya! Babara! Pink, thank you! Oh, shit! Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, that's bad! Nothing in this world is certain, especially in the times of war. The Jorvik conquest of the Earldom of Desmond has been no different. Yeah, we got Rasus King. It's no longer against Ku Kongles. The so. Wait, should we fight our brother? Did he just take it from us? Yes, and he was the one that kicked our asses. <gasps> what? There you go, you keep it. We're not gonna fight our brother. We're gonna Maybe fucking not, yeah. kill him. Would the Vikings really give in to a peasant revolt? You told me, they went up and they fucked them up. Oh yeah, they absolutely did. Come here, you peasants. What are you even fighting with, huh? A hoe? Your mom's a hoe. There we go. We could ransom him, but he has no thing. Who's gonna pay for him? He's a peasant. <laughs> What are the Vesterjötinga doing here? Aren't they the southern Swedish? Yeah, Vesterjötland. The West Yeats. The Yeats. <laughs> the Yeats. I'm gonna yeet someone if they're not, not careful. Well, the fun fact is that in Old English, the name Gea does become Yeet because the G is palatalized, oh, so, so they would be the Yeats. Oh, the white hair! The flighty white hair am I'm hunting comes to me in my dream! <laughs> Judging me with its deep eyes and flaunting its pristine coat of fur. We are gonna find the white hair. And when we find it, okay, then we can win this war. Come on! No guts, no glory! It's a woman we're fighting for God's sake, come on! Oh, can we win? We're winning! Yes! I, Almost! I think... The rebels of Shetland told us, of course we're winning. But they did yeah. kick the sh fucking shit out of us. That was a bloody battle. Absolute slaughter, huh? Hey, and to think all those men died for the Faroe Islands. <laughs> think of the white hair! Yeah, we'll all have white hair by the end of this. <laughs> Our war target is West Island. What the fuck? What happened? That's not the thing I declared war for. <laughs> How many men have died for a piece of Island? An alliance with King Björn? Yeah, we need an alliance Wait, with him. did Björn become black? No, it's a face mask. <laughs> oh. Peasant uprising what? apparently died. So many people died for that. The cream of the generation wiped out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. For what? <laughs> the, the left nut of Iceland. <laughs> Truly, the, the master of tactics here. Thank you, advisor. Oh, no problem. It's going so it's well. It's going well so far. Let's get some mercenaries. Let's get the red shanks. <laughs> the, the border, border ravers. <laughs> it's still a pretty pitch battle, my dude. I don't think... Can we pull through? Oh, we're starting to kick ass. Olaf for dying, huh? I don't even know who you are. Have fun dying. Well, it seems that hiring mercenaries certainly did the trick. Advisor Hilbert, Ooh. it is time to put a creepy crawly. 11% chance that we do it. I think that's not looking good. 11%. And I think, as you say, it'll be very awkward the family blow. I'll do it. No, they See, stopped this, it. This is why I'm your advisor. <laughs> And you don't listen to shit that I say. Oh. I'm underpaid. I hardly sleep. He figured out it was me. No, Gustafsson, you died. But how? Slain in battle. Oh, no mind. He that, died just now. That's how you. That's how you die, man. That's 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 how you're supposed to die. He's going to Valhutl. He'll be happy. Yeah, oh, fucking straight. Whoop, right up there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ragnar! Oh my. Do you want me to give you a hand right there? God damn, his wife is uh, thicker than a sneaker. It might be a heretic, but she's just heretic. Jesus. We have fended off the onslaught of the Englishmen. And now it is time to turn against them. Advisor. Let's head into Mercia. Let's kick some Saxon booty and head out with some real booty. Jesus Christ. The Irish insular populist. It started. <laughs> oh god. Seamus! Seamus, get the armor light! Seamus, there's a bomb and the basket hand. <laughs> Horton, get away from that car! Another daughter! Can I have some? Sun machine broke. Understandable, have a nice day. You see, if she was married to Henry VIII, she'd be dead already. The amount of daughters she's pumped out. We're gonna have to fight this guy. Who is this? Some random absolute fuckhead as we're going past- No, no. These are Bretons. Do you know why they're here? To avenge Rewild, who you killed in cold blood. Well, in this case, we'll fucking kill them too. Yeet. Well, it looks like... 
Oh. That is some games. Viking games. Hold on, King Bergret's King Bergret's wife? Is that a man? It's a man in a dress. He do be progressive though. Who's rebelling now? The I the Icelandic <laughs> fucking Hauker from Snauker coming at me with this long axe. What the fuck, man? These troops have been fighting continuously for so long. Let's fuck them up in Warwick. An actual big battle, but we're winning. Of course, we are the best man. As one final act of defiance against the bastards. Should we not take out Wessex? I think so. Wait, Wessex is invading Wales at the same time. Perfect. We'll get them in the rear. They'll be distracted. Maybe we can have an alliance with the Welsh. Maybe they'll help us. Do you really want to work with the Merfin ap Rodri of Gwyneth? Oh, yeah. Declare war. I think the White Hare is taking refuge in Wessex. Uh, well, uh, advisor, that is exactly where I will go. <laughs> oh, fuck. 12 out of 3 holdings. I'm holding all this myself. That's now Shetland. <laughs> Advisor help, I'm sleeping! I think you've been touching the juice a little bit too much lately. <laughs> touching the juice? This is West Island and this is Shetland. Historical accuracy! That's what to say yeah. case is about. Oh yeah, yeah, this is perfect. This is actually what happened historically, not many people know, but the game has done its research and that's why this oh. is a good. Very good! Erikir, my champ! Oh, it's my son, Erikir! Come here, you bastard! Let me kill you and let me do it slowly! <laughs> Very good. I once had a fortune, but that fortune is gone. <laughs> it's in the pocket of cell swords. Uh, we can pay for it with, with, with ransoming. A prisoner-based economy is a good economy. Look at me. I, I, I look like a drunk Santa Claus. What the fuck? We have the skill. Determination of will. Ah! Oh, my wife died. Not a day oh, too God. soon. <laughs> I lost stress when my wife died. Uh, relatable. <laughs> Wait, what? And with that, my friends. We have conquered even more! Not that our co wow. country is in a in good state, you know? What a patchwork of a kingdom. Oh, <laughs> I just oh, look God. at it. Alright, let's just deal with these revolts. Come here, you bastards! The Islamic tribe of Warwick, they have the crescent moon as their symbol. <laughs> Mashallah! The kefir will be killed. Wait, did I say kefir? That's the drink. That's Never the mind. Elk, the elk. <laughs> yeah, they're lactose intolerant, they fucking yeah. hate kefir. Fuck the kefir! I have been dying! I dragged myself to death. What a life, man. That is surely a life worthy of living. It is even more scuffed <laughs> because my... Uh, you honestly... <laughs> Very, very good. I think the white rabbit was the friends we made along the way. And with that absolute massacre of England, I think we'll end it here. Thank you, Hilbert, for joining me as my advisor in this 100% historical run of Crusader Kings. We did not get the Blood Eagle, but that gives me an opportunity to just come back and do it later. What a life, huh? Oh, uh, thanks for being the king leading our kingdom through this most turbulent period oh, of history. Tell you one thing though, they're not coming back from this one. <laughs> <laughs> but we all know what's gonna happen, all right? Hilbert, I'm still gonna have to execute you, okay? <laughs> Nothing personal. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, burn your advisor on the stake for not doing anything wrong. Yeet!